Oh, what's going on, guys? Today I am reviewing my Kingsport performance. It was the first major of the 2023 season. We're going back 2023, looking at it, seeing how it goes. We're going to break this up into three parts. This is part one. Let's get into it. All right. This was day one, my round robin format. It was me against 15 other guys. Like I said, round robin. So you hit against everybody else. I'll go over the format here in a second. Some big names in this group. I mean, we got Kyle Berkshire, we got Ryan Respeck, we got Sean Johnson, Colton Casto, tons of really good guys. Um, Jacob Galladay's in here. He's super consistent. I mean, so this is my first round against Colton. Colton starts off with a 377 yard bomb. Good ball to start the day. Here I am. And over there on the side, um, started with my first one, OB. Um, this tournament was just, it was interesting because I'm going from pushing really fast in the gym last year. I was focused on speed training, wasn't really focused on accuracy. I just wanted to be one of the fastest. There we go. We just saw a flash of it. It was 217 ball speed in the grid. We'll see a number come up here in a second. Let's see what it is. 364. That's good enough for second right now. Not quite the 377 I needed. Now I'm trying to step on the gas. Colton got another ball in play at 362. I'm still 13 yards behind him. He's going to step up into this one, and I think this one he's going to hit pretty good. He hits that one 219. Little draw down that left side of the grid, 150 club speed. Here I am, and I try to step on it. <laughs> and uh, same club speed as Colton, but for some reason mine was 198 ball speed. So I didn't hit that good. Colton, 382. Very good hit. Now I really need to step on it because I know, I mean, I'm pretty much locked in second here. We'll see. I'm going to try to step on this last one. Just try to push past him. Don't get it done. End up getting second place in my first set. All right, set two. I got Kyle Berkshire in my group. So here's how it works. Um, for first place, you get 200 points. You get 100 points for second place. 50 for third, 25 for fourth. If you go OB, it's no points whatsoever. Kyle just hit a nuke at 224 ball speed. And as you can see there on my face, I was not feeling it early in this tournament. I did not hit the first couple good at all. There's my buddy Bryce. I'm training with him. 204 pull there from him. He's gained a lot of speed since Kingsport. This was actually both Bryce and myself. Interesting fact on this one is we switched over to TPT for this tournament and we're hitting the TPT 19 Nitro. And the first time ever hitting the TPT 19 Nitro was on the range at competition trying to start it off. So there's a 223 ball speed from me, 155 club speed, pushed it right, OB again, Kyle's in the lead right now, 381. Jim Waldron, 347. And Bryce at 346. So here I go again. 225 this time. Pushed it right, OB. That's not my usual miss. Um, I'm typically a pull, snap hook left. But I was trying to correct that. Blocked them right. Didn't get it done. OB, zero points on that one. So now we're going into my third set. I got a second. I got an OB set. That is not really a good way to start the day. Let's see what we got this set. I'm pretty ticked at this point. So I'm going to start off with a very nice shot. 221 ball speed, 156.5 club speed, 3,800 spin. Wow, that was spinny. But 379, that's a really solid ball right now. Um, you saw Kyle was in the low 380s. And there I hit another absolute bomb. They didn't show it. It was 385. So like I said, Kyle was in the low 380s on his set to start. And there's a 227 from me. 227.6, 158.8 club speed. That was a good shot. But I remember the shot because it felt amazing, but didn't go further than 385. 385, like I said, it was a bomb. Kyle was in the 380s at this point. Colton was in the 380s. And that was me at 385, taking down the set, got a win. So I had a second, I had a zero point out of bounds, and I had 200, sitting pretty good. Now I just need to find balls in the grid to advance onto the next spot. So I'm feeling good. I'm in fifth right at this point. A um, couple more people need to hit the end set three. 
or round three, but I was doing really good. So like I said, this was the first time hitting the 19 in this competition, which we spend months and months and months figuring out the right setups and tinkering with weights and figuring out what you want to do to optimize the shaft, optimize the setup. And like the idiots that we decided to be, we decided to switch that right before competition. So on the range, hitting the TPT 19, trying to figure it out. To be fair, it felt really, really good. This was also my first tournament hitting the Cobra. I was hitting a Cobra a few times in training, decided to make the switch over from Callaway to Cobra with Chris from Apex Golf Hawaii. Hit him up on Instagram if you need any builds. Um, but this was, it was a figuring it out. I felt like some hits were really great this tournament, some hits were not. I was just trying to figure it out. And this was one of the sets, unfortunately, I could not figure it out. So I had my first four out of bounds. Again, I just need balls in the grid to advance. That's all I need. But unfortunately, you can see, I'm just struggling. I could not find it. I was playing military golf. Left, right, left, right. I could not find it. So I'm going to try to settle my nerves on this last one. Fifth ball, sorry, sixth ball. We just need one in play. That's all we need at this point. And let's see if I can get it done. Get a ball in play, and that'll put me in a really good position moving on to the sixth set, so or the moving on to the fifth set so that I can advance. Step up to the ball, get ready to fire away, and do a little worm burner squirmer thing. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. That's not what you want. So that leaves me one. Uh, if you peek that, it was 157 club speed still. That's pretty wild. And I realistically needed to dial it back. So what happens on this now? That puts me on the bubble. I'm sitting in eighth place after the fourth set, but I got bumped out immediately after. So now I'm outside of the range of the top eight. The top eight move on to the next day. So I'm sitting at ninth place. I need to basically win this set in order to get in. I need So my last set, really need to do something amazing to get through. Definitely a second place would likely have gotten me through at this point, but I'm thinking I need to win or go home. And I got tough competitors in Brian Kelly, Jacob Galladay, and Isaiah Joyner. Like this is a tough set. So I'm OB on my first two, 215 miles per hour, 154.6 club speed, and I'm missing it right again. One of the nice things about this is every time I hit a ball right this tournament, I remember feeling good about it because I was fixing that snap hook left. So this one, I had a straight pop up, 155 club speed, 200 ball speed, terrible right off the top of the club face. The Cobras have a shallower club face, and I'm still trying to figure that out at this point because that hit on a Callaway would have been semi-okay. On a Cobra with the shallower club face, not so much. So while I do like the Cobra more, I was still trying to figure that all that stuff out, and it would lead to shots like that. So I line up for this one. There's that left miss, that low left miss that I was telling you about. 157.8 club speed, 219.6 ball speed, but terrible. That's not what we're looking for. So now not only am I set up to fail again ultimately because I've had so many balls OB, I need to hit one in play in order to advance to the next day. So the pressure is on, backs against the wall, and I hit an absolute nuke at 222.2 ball speed. And that 311 little pop-up is about to get blown out of the water right now. Six ball, down the middle of the grid, 368, knock down the win, advance to the second day. That felt great after a struggle on a couple of sets there. Oh, man. I love seeing all the adversity that I overcame in round one of the Kingsport event. It was one of my best tournaments of the year. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of adrenaline, a lot of nerves going on. I was able to settle, get it done at the very, very last second. I was on a high that night going back to the hotel room, ready and rearing to come back round two. So tune in next time to see round two and how I performed.